So up at Temple Island, this is the Whitefold Challenge Cup. Attention. Tyne. Go! Against the hook from the Netherlands. And I always look to this part of the race. It's uh, great to watch. You can really see the power and trying to get momentum into the boat as fast as possible. Just watching the Dutch boat there. Yeah. Veering rather precariously out into the middle. And yes, the umpire agrees with me and he's going to send the hook back towards the buck station. I feel like at this point it's just expected in every wide horse race, yeah, isn't it? Pretty much. Just a little bit, a little warning, back onto your station. Um, I wonder if they discussed it at this point. Good luck to the rudder trying to keep up with them. He's not going to do that for 2k, is he? Yeah, it remains to be seen. Um, making a good go of it at the moment, um, <laughs> as are De Hook from the Netherlands. Um, they've got a little bit of a lead there over Tyne Rowing Club. I wonder if it is a uh, De Hook connection with the uh, orange t shirt on there. Potentially. But he may have to uh, run quicker than that if he wants to keep up with all the way down. This is the Whitefold Challenge Cup, and the Dutch nearest to the camera, to the right hand side, leading early. Nah, I've had enough. I'm, I'm giving up. That will do me nicely. Thanks. Maybe he's doing intervals from the start. <laughs> Following each race to the barrier and then walking and The back umpire's up. getting involved again, and the Dutch boat being invited to return to the buck station. The jogger is all right, by the way, just to report on his welfare. He's still on his feet. Don't worry. Yeah, this Dutch crew, it's, it's a pretty classy crew. They look like they row really well, but they've had a few issues with the steering through the round so far. Um, they clipped the booms on Tuesday, and they were getting quite a lot of warnings in their race yesterday. So it's something that they've had to go out and practice a little bit. Um, and thankfully, at the moment, it's not impeding on this race at the moment, and uh, they're still moving away from the Tyne Rowing Club crew. Let's join the action live. And it's still the Dutch who lead things. Yeah, veering into the centre once again. I wonder when the umpire's going to bring their flag out. Keeping the umpire busy in this race. As you say, the, uh, the wife hole. Presumably umpires look at their programmes at the start of the morning, their schedules, and they're all right, OK, I'll take my white flag with me then. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. So um, there's crew from the Netherlands here. We've got um, a political science graduate in the bar seat, uh, Thijs Tass. Um, who's raced at Honey Royal before uh, as well, and has done a little bit in, of uh, international racing. He was in the Dutch Men's 8 last year at World Cup 3 in Lucerne. Um, so quite a lot of experience there. I wonder if he's the one steering. He's taking a few looks out of the boat at the moment. Yeah, and there's Sir Matt Pinsent. He's got his megaphone, he's got his flags. At the moment he looks uh, motionless, which is a good thing. Yeah, it'd be a, a relief for uh, this crew from the Netherlands, I think. Mm, clean run down the track. Maybe they're getting a bit more comfortable within the booms. We haven't spoken a bit, uh, haven't spoken much about Tyne, um, but they are absolutely gunning it for the line now. Um, probably a little bit too little, too late, but if, you're if it's your last race of the season, you might as well. Give it a kitchen sink. Why absolutely. not? And Tyne over the line now. William Shaw in the stroke seat, Thomas Campbell, Edward Gaskerth and James McLennan. 